their comfort zone. And I will always be inc incredibly thankful to John Alderetti, uh, who was the bass player of Racer X. He was a, a, a student at the same time I was. And, uh, and he was much more of a, a, a go-getter than I was. You know, I was happy to sit in my room and like, we're not ready, we need to rehearse 10,000 more hours. And, and, and John came back one day and he was like, I booked a gig, I'm tired of waiting around. I'm like, really? And, and, you know, we're not ready. He's like, I don't care, we're ready enough. And so he booked us a gig, it was Racer X back in, the, in you know, 85 or something. And we did the gig and it was fine. You know, it wasn't perfect, but it was good enough. And the next gig was better. And without that, I might have just, you know, procrastinated forever. And, and I've seen musicians who are amazing and they really, I mean, the, one of the guys that comes to mind is Sean Lane. Um, Sh Sean Lane is a, a, a guy who you know, has, has some amazing work out there. But I think a lot of his best stuff will never be, was never recorded, will never be heard, because he was one of those guys that was like, well, I don't think it's quite ready yet. And, you know, he, he, I, w I wish that he had had my John Alder ready to go like, I don't care, I booked a gig. You know, I don't care, we, we got this recording date coming up. And so you either need to find somebody who will do that to you, whether it's a band member, a manager, whatever, or, or, or do that yourself to just, you know, whether you're ready or not, jump in the... Jump in the ocean and start swimming.